Drivers are speeding through the streets, causing danger to innocent children as they play. Angry mothers have given a petition to the local council asking for no entry signs or speed ramps to be placed to slow down the drivers and protect their children. Thank you, thank you. Right, round one. I give you three lives each, okay? Now, when you get a question wrong, you lose a life. It's as simple as that. Now, in round one, the questions are fairly easy, but round by round, the questions get harder. You've been warned. So, are we all ready to play? Hello there. Good morning. Why do I feel like Ronnie Corbett? But welcome to Sport Relief. The uh, last sport release took place in 2002 and we thought it was about time that we did it all over again. Ten events, eight competitors and the chance of winning not only the trophy but a great gift voucher and it's for a fantastic cause. More about that later. Now, what about the events? The first event to take place is at Lee Harriers. It's at Madley Park. It's the 100 metre sprint. I'm Chris, I'm 24, I'm from Lee in Lancashire and I'm a customer services advisor. Chris, in the animal kingdom, the newborn young of mammals are suckled by which parent? Mother. Correct. Welcome to the, oh, we're coming out of the gents, good timing. We're live on Facebook, this is the Armitage Arms. Every Thursday we do the pub quiz, but has anyone turned up this week? It's the 100th quiz here for me this week. Let's find out if anyone says, give us all a wave. Oh, there's some over there, that's always a good start. Go on, you're live on Facebook, give us a wave. Who's in? There's 11 teams. Can I give a round of applause? And we've got Tommy Cooper here as well. Now, so every Thursday we're half past eight, we've got to open the box as well. So tell your friends, both of them, get down here every week. Joe, he's going to pick a number now. Sorry, Joe, Merry Christmas. Uh, we've got, as I say, 11 numbers on here. You've picked seven already. Oh, very quick. 
That was very quick. Right, we're going to do the old bullseye round now. 101 in six darts. And team number seven is going to have a go for a special prize live on Facebook. The winning team coming up is from the horse's mouth. Come on down. Da, 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 da. Follow me to the dartboard. Come on. Follow me to the dartboard. Like Jim Bowen. Hello. Welcome to Bullseye. Here at the Armitage Arms. Now, settle down. All you have to do is 101 or more in six darts for tonight's star prize. I've no idea what the star prize is. Don't forget as well, there's another post on the Armitage Arms in the minute whilst we wait for the next contestants. Share the post. £40 worth of vouchers up for grabs in the minute. Have a look for that one as well. Right, who have we got here? What's your name? Alex. Alex, are you doing all six darts? Unfortunately, well, yes. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> I don't even know what the prize is, but six darts there. No pressure, but it's probably going to get shared a lot if you lose it. But lots of oh, pressure. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, it's coming up as well. In the melting. I'll tell you what, take two darts. Darts, then we'll pick him up again. Don't worry about that. 101 in six darts. Give him a let's go on, then. we can do this. Oh one dart even. Bullseye was never even live, was it? Bullseye was never even live. We're gonna do this. So a reminder again how the quiz works. We've got six rounds we do. We normally finish about 10 o'clock every Thursday as well. It really is a cracking quiz, really competitive. Come on down here as well. And it's free. It's free. It's free. Thank you. Good good yeah. you're gonna win on the darts, but it's first two darts. It. Here we go. Good luck. <laughs> Here we go. That's not what's putting. Th six. Come on. It's a good start. Oh, and one, seven so far. Four darts to go. Come on. Jim Bowen probably wouldn't be complimenting you at this stage. Here we go. 20. Come on, that's more like it. 27 so far. 47. Right, two darts to go. 47 so far. Yeah, I know what's going to happen now. No, come on, think positive. 4.51, you need a treble 20, really, come on. Oh, the bullseye, yeah, I mean, let's be positive. Oh. No, oh. never mind, give him a round of applause. Oh. Right, that is it from me. We hope to see you next Thursday here at the Armitage. Take care for now. And if you're watching on Facebook Live, hello, good morning, welcome. To Driffield, this is the Driffield Triathlon 2019. Great turnout, absolutely brilliant. Everyone is underway with the adult race. We've got the uh, the junior race coming up this afternoon as well. Uh, following lots of people in Event Village, uh, we've got uh, kids racing here. With uh, got a really lovely refreshments wagon, I have to say that's when the sun is shining. The sun is shining. It's not cold. We've got a great turnout as well. Check out the other events for Freebird Events, freebirdevents.co.uk. We've got the Yorkshireman Try on the 23rd of June. Make sure you look at that one. And another one of my favourites in the calendar is the Sundowner. That's on August the 31st. But for all the calendar, check out freebirdevents.co.uk. We'll see you later. We've got one microphone for you lot to share. So um, we're going to start with the icebreakers. Um, so I think I'm going to start with Phil near me. You can have this microphone. Yeah. Hello. 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 Um, so first of all, the icebreakers, we'll do the same as what we did last year. We want your favourite film, favourite book, uh, and also favourite TV programme. And also uh, last year my son Eric said, what superhero costume would you wear in your next race? So there you go. Over to you for the next minute. Hello, all of you there. Welcome to the final winter warmer of 2020. I'll tell you what, it's been a brilliant year. We've been at so many locations. This is my fourth winter warmer of the year. Newcastle, the Melton, Manchester, Drink, Sutton, Coldfield as well. 8,000 of you have supported the winter warmers and raised money and awareness. Don't forget to put my other things in it. Meet me, Bones, Holden, Crowdrain, 2020, and of course the Bow Runs in November as well. Snow Joe, see you soon. We're live. We're live. We are live. A very good evening to you. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit strange. But 
these are different times and I hope for the next hour that we can entertain you a little bit. I'm Chris, you are... Hi Eric. And sit it apart. Oh, that's it, just get rid of half the audience whilst you're doing it. He is a bad city fan. And welcome to the very first quiz night at home. Um, already I can tell you on the screen we have got 97 teams, which is absolutely fantastic. We're going to be doing this every Wednesday night, half past eight. Uh, you'll see a link on Facebook during the week, and then I'll send you the link uh, to the YouTube site. Subscribe to this channel. You won't miss it. Half past eight every Wednesday, and I'll be doing this absolutely free. And thank you so much to Quizbit, who have let us use their smartphone quiz. Uh, and also thank you to the Chapel House at Lowmore in Bradford for letting us use their log on as well. And Eric, uh, it's Eric's birthday today as well, folks. I Eric's got birthday. this. He, he did get that. Round one is food and drink. Five questions on food and drink. Uh, so listen up, everyone. Uh, question number one. Are we all ready? Give me a cheer. Are you all ready? I can't hear you. Are you all ready? That's more like it. That's more than like it. Right, okay. Question number one. Good luck, everyone, and no Googling, because cheats never prosper. Question one. Silverside is a cut from what sort of meat? Hmm, I wonder. Silverside is a cut from what sort of meat? Alright, give you some time to think about that one. Silverside is a cut from what sort of meat? Alright, five questions remember on each category. Question number two. A vanilla pod comes from which flower? So, a vanilla pod comes from which flower? <laughs> 